You guys want to ride the pump jack? Here you go, just one time for you. Have fun, see ya. Alright, so trucking is shut down for about 48 hours. We're waiting on spud rig again. So, you guys want to go out and run the wells with me? Yeah, let's go uh, check on the wells this morning. Morning, folks. So, we are up here this morning. This is actually a $10 piece. So, this is called a dart. And these are some of my uh, five cent problems. The only other thing I'll say about this is this is also on a deadline. So that's what I'm doing real quick. Uh, taking care of uh, that little issue we had. And uh, we're going to do some uh, <clears throat> stuff over at the pump jack we'll talk to you about. And then we got to head back for a day of maintenance on the Detroit. Just in here dealing with a couple little things. I don't want to show you that. There's a little card back there that... Might give you a hint of what I'm dealing with. <laughs> uh, in the prior five years or past five years, whatever, the prior in the history of dealing with stuff like this, normally certain people couldn't go in there other than me or one of us, but now they're going in there. <sighs> All right. Let's get this fired up. And there she goes. You see how coming down? No, not really much of a problem. And it's a little, a little weight heavy. If it was actually rod heavy, that would be a lot easier coming up. So it's a little pushing weight heavy. Can you see? Pushing weight heavy. Now if you see when it's coming back up, it's having to drag that pushing weight up. Or if it was a little more rod heavy, it would just swing around a little bit easier. So we diagnosed that problem. I think I told you before it was rod heavy. So no, we're a little heavy on the weights. If we brought that pushing weight back, uh, it would even out a little better. So, all right, moving on. You guys want to ride the pump jack? Here you go, just one time for you. Have fun, see ya. There, now you can say you rode a pump jack. <laughs> Good for you guys. Now it used to be cool back in the day to uh you know maybe have a few beers in you go out with your buddies and climb up on the the walking beam and take a little ride but i don't suggest doing that it's a good way to uh get killed for number one <laughs> maybe cut into a few pieces you fall down into the counterweights there and number two get yourself in a little bit of trouble somebody caught you doing that so but there's a lot of stories of people doing it out there. Alrighty, so let's explain weight heavy and rod heavy. If it was rod heavy right now, those weights would just be coming around as easily as they come down. 
So you can see it comes down pretty smoothly. All right. And you can also see that it struggles a little bit right here coming up, right? Can you guys see the difference there? That's weight heavy. It's not rod heavy. So this big pushing weight right here should probably be moved upwards about a foot about just about a foot up up on that arm right there and it would probably even out that that pump jack a little bit so hopefully that's explained for you <laughs> all right let's take a little drive move on to the next one getting a little confusing am I the lease operator pumping oil wells or am I a truck driver or am I just fixing stuff all the time it's kind of all three so anyways folks thanks for being here shout out to everybody oil rigs jobs Henry Bob Dan Matt Marshall JP thank you everybody appreciate you being here y'all be blessed we'll see you